What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront 2 and today we received update 1.48. I will link these patch notes down in the description if you guys would like to read over them for yourself. This was a smaller update. On PS4 anyway, this is a less than 1 gig. I'm not sure what the size is on Xbox or PC. I'm assuming not too much bigger, but it could have been a little bit larger, a little bit smaller than it was of course here on PS4. Let's go ahead and get right into these patch notes. A lot of this stuff is just uh, some general bug fixes and some issues they were having within the game. Fixed an issue where the play button would not uh, be able to match make into a game. Fixed an issue that would occasionally cause a game server to match make players into the same team. Fixed an issue where the same kind of thing was happening within co-op, but you would be match made into the opposing team. They fixed an issue that would cause AI opponents to take only one path on Jabba's Palace in co-op. And the reason I laugh at this, guys, I'm sure if you played Jabba's Palace in co-op, you do know that you can sit there and just absolutely destroy that one door. That is the only way the enemies come from. And it was very easy to sit there and just rack up XP on Java's Palace. So that has been fixed, it looks like. Fixed an issue that would cause a delay when attacking after evading. Set, uh, set up planet-specific appearances for heroes and troopers on the Age of the Rebellion maps. Added randomize, a randomization of head options for officer controlled by AI. Fixed an issue where the AI officer on Hoth would show up with the wrong names. Uh, added more info to show how to unlock certain weapon mods. Fixed an issue where the ISB agent would be blocked from firing her blasters for too long. Fixed a visual issue where the Ewok hunter's instincts, uh, instinct ability would show footprints on top of the trail left behind the BB-9E. Also fixed an issue where the snow particles would sometimes be visible indoors when playing on Starkiller Base. Fixed various uh, visual issues with textures, fixed various visual and collision issues on MC-85 Star Cruiser and the Death Star 2. Added the sphere, mele uh, the sphere melee attack for Ewok Hunters controlled by AI. Made minor visual improvement to the Ewok Hunter abilities. Fixed visual issues where high numbers were shown under the player damage score event after defeating an enemy. Added support for Characters in the chat window when playing in non-Russian versions of the game. Fixed an issue where the scoreboard would not show the accurate class level of other players or when deploying with vehicles. Class level now appears to be on the scoreboard when playing Starfighter Assault and Hero Starfighters. Removed the class level from AI players on the scoreboard. And fixed an issue where the button to view the profile of another player on the scoreboard would not work correctly. Like I said, guys, pretty small update, just fixing a lot of visual bugs and some bugs with inside the game that were not working correctly or things that were causing the game to not run correctly. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this. I know a lot of people are probably disappointed that you can't just sit there and uh, just kill enemies over and over on Java's Palace and make it very easily, uh, very easy to rank up weapons or heroes. That was one thing I know a lot of people were doing within, uh, you know, within Java's Palace. It was easy to rank up your heroes and your weapons. Uh, sadly, it looks like that has been fixed. But anyway, guys, leave a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you would like to see come to Star Wars Battlefront in the upcoming months. I know there's a lot of rumors going uh, kind of around what we could be expecting to see within the next update. Like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts on that. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner. That way you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs, and all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.